Shannon, what was the difference yesterday? The Eagles had an opportunity to deliver the coup de grace. Skip, they're up 14 nothing to get the ball back. And <clears throat> Nick Foles, Skip, he is not a check down guy. He doesn't do a lot of nibbling. He goes for the home run. And he went for the home run with Zach Ertz. He underthrew the ball a little bit, and Marshawn Lattimore intercepted it. He had Smallwood in the flat that would have given him a first down. And then I think the real turning point of the ball game, and this is what we know about Sean Payton, he's always looking to steal a possession. Eagles got it diagnosed, Skip. They're thinking about this. They, they're in what we call a defense state, punt state. He leaves his defense on the field, take a corner out, I mean, take a, a, a linebacker out, Skip, and got the return in there just in case they punt it. So they got, they're expecting this, but you got to give the Saints credit because they were able to get enough push to let the, uh, the up back get enough of the first down. They go down the field, they score a touchdown. If you look at it, Nick Foles in the first quarter skip, he's 8 of 9, 113 yards, a touchdown, <clears throat> a touchdown run and a touchdown rush. That's 14 points. The final three quarters, he's 10 of 22, 88 yards, two INTs. He couldn't finish them. Hmm. Now, Saints, this is why you go at home field, Skip. You know you fall down 14 nothing on the road. More times than not, it's good night, Irene. I know you don't know who Irene is, mm. but it's good night. Mm. But they were at home. Crowd kept them in the game. They get that first down. But I can, I can assure you, you don't want to tempt fate too many times. You definitely don't want to tempt that fate with the Rams coming in. But what happened was is that you remember last year, Skip, when Lick Foles went on this, his, the Eagles, and they went on this run. What could they also do? Mm. Run the football. They had LeGarrette Blunt. They had Jay Ajayi. And they could pound the ball so they get a lead. Mm -hmm. They could pound the ball with those two guys. They have no resemblance of a run game. 16 rushes, 49 yards. That's not nearly good enough. And it allowed because you kept throwing the ball, throwing the ball, and you allowed Drew Brees to get his rhythm. Before I turn it over to you, Skip, I want to know one thing. <clears throat> Eagles, how many times Michael Thomas caught 12 passes for a buck 71 in the touchdowns? How many times are you going to let him run the end cut? Skip, how many times are they going to let him run that route? They're going to let him run, push up to 12, break in and catch the ball at 14. How many times are they going to let him do it? He's been doing it all year long. Gee, I'm like, me, I'm last, uh, my, uh, my night job, Skip, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I moonlight. I'm over there with D. I'm like, time. <laughs> I look at time. Night job. I'm looking, I'm like, end cut again, end cut. All they're running, Skip, you're playing, cup, you, you're playing Tampa too. You vacate with, the, with a – use a tight end or a, a second receiver to vacate the linebacker, and then he pushes you up and come in. Dude, can you please stop? Maybe that's why Drew Brees should win MVP. He's got one target, and he just keeps throwing to the same No, guy. no, working. Skip. Huh? It's no, working. Skip. If you don't take it away, mm. I'm going to keep going to it. Uh, well, you don't think everybody's tried to take that away the whole year? No, double him. Mm. Hmm. I'm sure he's been doubled nearly. Well, I'm going to make play. it – well, well we're going to get – well, we're going to find out. Because I know I'm taking that away. I'm not going to – Skip, no, with Coach Belichick, Coach Belichick says, I'm not going to let your best player beat you. Mm. Now, if you got a bunch of best players, that makes it really, it makes it really, really hard. Mm. I mean, you got, you know, you got Tyreek Hill, you got Travis Kelsey, you got Watkins, you have a lot of, you know, weapons, Skip. It's hard. Mm. But really, when you think about it in the past game, now, Kamara's a little tough, too, now. He, he's tough to deal with coming out of the backfield. But that's what happened, Skip. They got out to a big lead, and they were not able to build on it. 14 in the first quarter, and then the final three, they get zilch. Mm. This time, Jenny, I was really a good boy, and I just kept biting my tongue over here. I did not interrupt one time. No, I wanted to I was badly, a little bit. and my tongue is now bleeding because I've bitten so hard <laughs> okay, through get my it tongue. All out. But that happened but Saturday. I night. like that taste. That happened yeah. Saturday. No. <sighs> my first point is, I believe that several members of the Eagles hierarchy were somewhat relieved when that football went right through Alshon's hands into Mar uh, to uh, Lattimore's Mark hands. Sure. And that ended Nick Foles' run in Philadelphia or Philadelphia, or whatever you want to call it, because <laughs> that was the end of that. And their worst nightmare would also be their, their biggest dream was that he would just keep on keeping on and win this year's Super Bowl because if that happened, yeah. you'd just be stuck. Yeah. I don't know what you'd do, but – I just, I just you don't might, know how you could let you go might, of Nick. You Foles. might have to franchise him and eat you, you, 25, you, you 30 million dollars to. for backup. So I think there was some relief that that ball went through Alshon's hands, and he'd be the last guy I would think it would go through his hands in that moment. It, it was just a shocking end mm -hmm. to Foles' True. magic. He glanced. He saw 40. He saw he that did. linebacker. Skip. He did. He saw him coming. <laughs> but remember, that was second and ten, all the way to New Orleans' 27-yard line. 
that game had 21 to 20 written all over it. It just felt like Foles' magic was about to overcome the, the New Orleans voodoo or whatever's yeah. in that building that, that's generated on Bourbon Street <laughs> because that pass was right on the button. Yeah. That would have been a seven or eight. Yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be okay. like third and two. Okay, all right. And I'm not betting against Nick Foles in that moment until that happened. Mm -hmm. Now, back to what you said. Nick Foles was magical in the first quarter. He was just magical. And he played the way he played against Jenny's Vikings and against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick in the Super Bowl. He's just flinging rainbows all over he the home lot. runs. Yeah, he home knows runs. Guy. And, and he's dropping them out of the rafters into Jordan Matthews' hands from Your Vanderbilt guy. University. Thank you very much. And yet, it's now second and eight at the Philadelphia 48, early second quarter, and you're up 14 to nothing. Nick Foles goes for the throat yep. because his head coach wrote a book in the offseason called Fearless. Right. Am I right? Yep. And he he radiates his head. He, he You can't see it in his body language, but he's built for that head coach because, man, he likes to throw. You, you want to talk about throwing deep. He's going to go for it at all costs. And in this case, he had a six-foot, five-inch tight end on a corner who's really good, but he is all of six feet tall. So Zach Ertz has five inches on Marshawn Lattimore, and he throws it up, and I, I thought it was a pretty good throw. I thought it was up for Zach Ertz. I thought Zach Ertz could have gone over. He has him, Skip. He has him beat if he just throws it. Look, he, Ertz he, is, way, is behind he, him. He, he, he threw a jump ball instead of a deep ball. Right. Okay? The yes. Yes. Because yes. if he tries the deep ball, if he tries to lead him, he's just thinking, I got 6'5 on 6 feet because he's got a corner. He's not a safety. Okay? But see, 7 would have okay. dropped that thing in on me because he lead me. All right. Okay, but, like but you weren't a jump ball artist. <laughs> no. That wasn't what you I did. I went 6'5". <laughs> okay? And I don't know how much of a leaper Marshawn is, but I assume he can really jump because he yeah. got up for that. I looked up yeah. his combine last night just to see. He went 38 and a half in his vertical. I don't even know how great that is, that is. but it's That's pretty good. That's over three feet. Right? It's okay. pretty good. They're like, man, I mean, he ain't, you know. Hey, but, but is, that, is that kid not – I think he's the best corner in football. On a, on a regular basis, a playmaker, does he not get his hands on he the has football? An, he had an off year this year, Skip. I don't he know. started reading the press clip. I don't know. This I thought, was, he was I, really I thought good. this was one of his better games that he's played, having seen a lot of New Orleans games. I thought he, he's better than what he showed the first half okay. of th this season. So I'm going to give Nick Foles this break. I think this has happened very quietly, and most people have not fixated on this. But do you realize over the last nine games, the New Orleans defense – is second in points allowed only to the Bears. Mm -hmm. It's second. Hmm. It's been extraordinary. It, it's, it leads the NFL over the last nine games in takeaways yeah. with 18. So they are taking the ball away right. like crazy. Mm -hmm. So even though Drew Brees and the offense struggled down the stretch, yes. the defense, well, at Dallas, it was 13 to 10, right? So it was. They gave up, they only gave up, that defense only gave up nine points to at Carolina. Carolina. So they just kept on keeping on, right. but the offense was barely overcoming the right. greatness of the defense, right. right? Right. So I think this defense is really loaded. Yeah. It's, it's talented, it's running hot, it runs and hits, and I think. I, I don't think the Rams will go for 273 rush yards. I, I, I could be wrong, but... I don't think so either, Skip. But I don't think anybody thought we'd see a 2014 ball game. I thought well, we thought both teams would get into the upper 20s. Uh, I think you and I both picked New Orleans to win the game. Yep. But I didn't see no 2014-type ball game. So, so, actually, I'm not surprised that Nick Foles, through the middle of the game, struggled. But when he, but because you can't even audible there. It is so loud. You know how crazy oh, that wow. building is. So, you take away a lot what an offense can do. But when he finally zeroed in in the fourth quarter, they started to move the ball. Right. And it took Alshon, that blunder, that shocking, unexpected, uncharacteristic blunder. Not that he hasn't dropped passes. He just doesn't drop that pass. Right. He's, he's a big-time clutch yeah. receiver. Yeah. So that was – and to his credit, he just sat there for what looked like 45 minutes after the game. It's tough. He owned it, and he owned it, and he owned it. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's on me, it's on me, yeah. it's on me. And he said, I'll be thinking about this the whole offseason. He will be thinking about it the rest of his life. Yeah. Because that's a rough one. The Eagles need to get him a running back, Skip. Well, they do. But they still, it was only 20 to 14. I agree with you. I mean, Nick Foles got him that far with no running game yeah. at New Orleans. What, what you think Walker Tua was doing? You know what? 
they are going to take a big step back. No, they not. Stop they saying they, that. They just will because I don't think the team believes in him the way they believe in him. You know what, Skip? They're going to take a step back and be 11-5 and, and win the division next year. You think year. so? You all want to do? Uh, are you going to give me more? Uh, what you want to do? Give me more? Right now, the Eagles over the I uh, Eagles. I got, I'll Art, take the Eagles. Who you taking? Carson Wentz lost twice to Dak I Prescott. don't care if he lost Okay, I, I love it. I'll take three cases right now. Woo. Okay. I'll take three. Hold on. So, hold on. I'll take now, three. Now, hold on. Now, let yes. me, okay, you got the Cowboys for three cases. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got the Eagles. If neither wins the division, nobody wins, okay, right? That's okay, that's fair. Okay. I win. You guys do, give Do you me realize you already lost the same bet this year? I'm going to win it then. And my team only is going to get better. You realize I have the youngest team in pro football? The Dallas Cowboys are the youngest team. You don't think they're going to get better? Whew. I'm already betting about They were young last season. year. You, you like were doing this. so well, and then you just gave me more due. I'm going to get it back. You know, <laughs> one day on, on Saturday, you actually had me down two cases. But I knew I had Tom Brady in my back pocket. So, two cases I on get Tom back. Brady. I get We're it even, back. no blood. I get it back. Yeah. Guess what? I'm going to get it back this week. <laughs>